G'day everyone and welcome back to our paranormal world. The Catholic Church has long been known for decorative largesse and possibly the most stunning example of this is the lavishly bejeweled human remains in churches around Germany, Austria and Switzerland. These skeletons date back to the 16th and 17th centuries and are the result of anti-Catholic sentiment which saw many Catholic holy relics, including the stored bodies of martyrs, ransacked and destroyed in the Protestant Reformation. In 1578, vineyard workers in Italy discovered an immense catacomb containing over 500,000 skeletons. Some of these were taken and delivered to churches around Europe, and in spite of their identities being unknown, they were labelled as martyrs and saints. Monks and nuns hand-decorated the remains to reflect the splendour of heaven and the glory of the saint. Psychics were used to determine which remains belonged to martyrs because it was believed that a martyr's body could be identified through a golden glow which their remains gave off and a faint sweet smell. The skeletons were given identities and assigned a name by the Vatican before being delivered to churches around the continent. The nuns handmade the mesh fabric which would cover the bones and monks and nuns would painstakingly apply the jewels to the bodies. Often the treasures were donated to the churches by wealthy benefactors but many nuns also utilised their own jewellery to adorn the figures. Some skeletons were further adorned with wax eyes to complete their faces. The elaborate detailing would often take many years to complete, but once the skeleton was presented to the congregation, they were joyfully received. Often, the name allocated to the skeleton would then become the most popular baby name in the town. These skeletons were seen as a symbol of hope and an earthly connection to the kingdom of God. Slowly though, attitudes changed towards these relics and they became viewed with superstition. The Roman Emperor Joseph II declared that all items whose origins were not fully known must be discarded. Many of the skeletons were lost and or ransacked for their precious gems, yet some were hidden away in vaults and storerooms and managed to survive this purge. The largest collection of these artefacts is in the Waldsassen Basilica in Bavaria and includes 10 skeletons which are now considered important pieces of Catholic history. I think irrespective of your personal religious views, you have to admit that these skeletons are absolutely stunning in their elaborate detailing and the painstaking work the artists must have dedicated to these pieces. Author Paul Kudinaris published a book called Heavenly Bodies, Cult Treasures and Spectacular Saints from the Catacombs back in 2013, featuring stunning images of these skeletons from around Europe. It really is worth checking out. If you haven't already subscribed, please take a second to do so and hit that bell icon, setting notifications to all so that you can stay up to date with all of the paranormal and spooky content on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.